Amy on the Tom Like It Show. Oh, I'm sorry, Tom. I was at a mouthful of food. I'm sorry. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm actually getting to talk to you. This is so cool. Yes. Hello? Yes. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Are we going to talk? You called me, sweetheart. I know. Well, actually, I've got a question for you. And I'll be honest. I've only ever... I've listened to your show several times on my way home from work. And oftentimes think of calling that haven't ever had the chance. And I just can't figure out, what do you think women are good for? In a relationship? No, just in general. In gen- Well, I, I, again, uh, for your average man, mm-hmm. what women want, men want women for is to look at and to have sex with. Okay. And hopefully then make us a sandwich afterwards. Okay. Uh, to discussing politics, talking about what they think is important. Not that interesting to most guys. We're faking it. You guys fake orgasms. We feign interest in the stuff you talk about. Okay. So you truly think that women serve no real useful purpose outside of... To guys. No, just... Well, you're a guy, so that's what I'm asking. Well, you know, we need uh, teachers and librarians, uh, cocktail waitresses. Uh, certainly we do. What does somebody do to you that, that makes you absolutely hate women? So I don't hate women. But obviously you think we're... I don't hate worse. dogs. I don't hate cats. So uh, you're putting us on the same level as a dog. Well, uh, again, uh, how could you say I, I hate women? I don't hate women. I don't hate dogs. Wait, I wait. certainly wouldn't put a dog on the Supreme Court, but uh, I love them. So you're putting us on the same level as dogs. I'm not saying not exactly the same level, but I'm just making an analogy. The point is, well, just because I think somebody doesn't make an intellectual partner, just because I think someone doesn't make for an intellectual equal or an intellectual partner, that doesn't mean I don't like them. No, we're not intellectual equals. Oh, we're definitely not. Because we're female. Yes. So are you saying we statistically... Females have... have, uh, uh, Look, are there women who go to college? Are there women who become doctors and lawyers? Well, there are some. As many women, if not more women, go to college and become doctors and lawyers. You know, that's that's true. Exactly. Uh, That's true, but the the majority of people don't go to college uh, or certainly don't graduate with college degrees. And and it's real. That part is irrelevant. Uh, what is relevant is when it gets right down to it. Uh, so who makes who makes the most of those degrees? It's men. From college and get yeah. And how many women get a degree from college, work five years, then have babies, and then work part time? Yes, because we know that 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 happens all the time now, right? It happens a lot. <laughs> okay, so so let's get back to the IQ thing. Statistically, you're saying that we're less intelligent. Uh, statistically, I would say yes, that's true. I would say, put it this way. Do you have... Um, well, Derry, if you want me to answer, you'll let me finish an answer before you go to the next question. No, I'm not going to the next question. So you, you, are, you, are, you are interrupting my answer, and I'm trying to answer. Please answer. Let me answer what you asked me. Okay. I think that women have little curiosity about important things going on in the world. Uh, and certainly, the younger they are, the less interest they have. Okay, and your proof for this? So the the proof of this You've is. Obviously, been hanging. I will tell you, dear, uh, dear, I have statistics. Look okay, at well look then, at. Then, then I will. Yeah, will you let me talk? Yes, I am. Go ahead. I'm the host of this show. I Never realize. forget who's driving the bus here. God forbid. Yeah, yeah. You know what? If you want to uh, dominate the conversation and talk over people, get your own show. Oh, I haven't met a woman who can get ratings yet, but if there is, but I'll tell you what, if you can, go for it. The bottom line is that if you look at the ratings for any newscast on TV, mm-hmm. uh, the fact is that under 50, there's very few women watching news or information programming. You can't even that is correct. A proportion of dare, I have, dare, again, don't try to get me off the track here. Very few women are watching. Very few women are watching. Very few women are watching. And I am not going to let you get away with the, the, trying to obscure that fact that the ratings show that very few women watch the news under age 50. Very few. That's correct. If you have tampox under the sink, you are less likely to be watching the news than if you don't. Less li- but, but you can't even say it's just a lesser proportion than men. You're actually saying less likely. And that's what I'm Less about likely. Myself, is you take... You it is less likely. Be true. Again, try to, to stop trying to get away from this fact that I am stating to you. Women are less likely to watch. They do not write down in rating books. They do not uh, uh, indicate with their remote controls that they are watching news programming on television. 
No, no, no. You're, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. There is pro- there yeah, yeah, yeah. Lesser percentage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Watch- women, women watch entertainment tonight and The Insider, and they think they're watching the news. Yes, and men don't watch those either. Actually, women are the majority audience for those shows. So, so be, let's go back to the question then. So we're less intelligent. Uh, I would say that, uh, yes, you probably are less intelligent, but probably. because intelligence is the ability to learn. And certainly women do not have the willingness to learn anything that it has to do with anything going on in the world. Politics, economics, news, women are not interested. In politics, in economics, in journalism, in all of those fields, doctors, lawyers, all of those people. Never they, well, the fields I'm talking about there, I, when we're ta- I'm talking about the news. I'm talking about things going on in the world. Okay. Women have no interest. So all of those Women have no interest. There are exceptions to every rule, but when you look at... Uh, I'm done. 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 You just can't shut up, and that's why women aren't taken seriously. It's just a big emotional thing with you. Unbelievable. Just amazing. Fact is, less women watch the news. You can't get past it. I've been in the talk radio business for over 25 years. Talk radio stations, lots and lots of guys. Women, hello, I love your show. I'm a first-time caller. Hello, I'm a widow. Because the women who listen are all 50 and over. That's who listens to talk radio that talks about news. Hello. I really just want to say I love your show. I listen all the time. Everybody here at the, at, the, at, the, at the assisted living home listens to you. We all listen. We love you. That's who's listening, okay? I worked in AM talk radio for years, and I got to see the ratings. Who tunes in? Not just my own show, but radio stations in general. It's guys in their 30s and 40s and 50s and up, and women in their 50s and up. That's who listens. Women are not interested until they've been traded in for trophy wives, they have empty nest syndrome, or all their eggs have dried up. Hello? What are we going to do about Medicare? What are we going to do about Social Security? What are we going to do? Our benefits are being cut. What about SSI, Ira? What are we going to do? But you try getting a 25-year-old woman to call a radio talk show when they talk about news. Forget it. Forget it. So you can sit here with all the yelling and trying to change the subject and all the emotionalism, but the bottom line is there is statistical evidence that young women don't read the paper, don't watch the news, don't care. Even the Wall Street Journal, they try to attract women, they put nice pastel colors in there and articles about health. Who reads the Wall Street Journal to get articles about health? I read to find out if stocks are going up. That's what the Wall Street Journal is supposed to be about. And they're so desperate to attract women. They've got, a, they've got a section called Personal Journal. It's the color of a birth control bill, a pill box. You know, that, that kind of purpley color? All these little pastel colors? Oh, please.